There is something wrong with one of these Rubik's Cubes, but with which one exactly and what is wrong, write in the comments. But I'm sure no one will guess. One of these cubes are two cubes. Hey everyone, this is Cubastic and I have rather unusual cubes on my desk today. As you can see, they have different shapes and they are here for a reason. All because of what is in this box. This Rubik's Cube will certainly surprise you and I think it will surprise me as well. I already know what is here, what kind of cube, but I need to show it to you, let's see. Oh, the moment of unpacking is always very pleasant. Let's look inside. Hmm, there's something wrong. Some deception. Look, the cube is just flat. It looks weird. Just look at this. Like a piece of the cube just drowned in the table. In fact, this is an extremely interesting puzzle and it will be very difficult to solve. Here we go. I hate to call this Rubik's Cube defective, but I think it is. Write in the comments what would you call this uh, one and a half Rubik's Cube. And before we start to solve it, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. There's a lot of videos here about puzzles and Rubik's Cubes and I'm sure it's not the first time you've seen my videos. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you do it, so you can see more of my videos and I will be very pleased. That's why guys, subscribe to the channel right now and you can also write a comment and like this video. I would call this Rubik's Cube flat, but I can't do it, because uh, there's already a flat Rubik's Cube, like this. And by the way, it is much more complicated than it seems at first glance. There is also a, such a flat Rubik's Cube. This cube was already in one of my videos about simplest Rubik's Cubes. It is really the simplest because it can be solved in three moves. It can even be accidentally solved while scrambling. Hmm, <laughs> and that is what just happened. And I also have this uh, interesting cube in my collection. One uh, by one by three. There is one uh, of the things, one more thing and one more. There's three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Cubastic, a professional reviewer. This cube was sent to me from Australia. It's made of a regular Rubik's Cube, but all layers here are connected into one. They took a regular Rubik's Cube and uh, put all the elements of one layer together into one. And uh, they got a simpler Rubik's Cube. So this cube and uh, this cube can be solved absolutely by anyone, even if uh, he don't know how to solve Rubik's Cubes. As for the rest of the cubes, flat one, the cube with which uh, something is wrong and uh, the usual 3x3 require to have some knowledge of solving cubes. Alright, and for you Jared, also some knowledge is needed. Let's solve this cube uh, as a workout. Uh, this uh, 3 by 3 by one If you think this Rubik's Cube is easy to solve, then <laughs> yes, it is really easy. But I need to scramble it again. It uh, can be scrambled uh, so that its uh, flat form changes uh, to this obscure form. Just take a look at this. We can even turn it like this. This already looks much harder. Look, even so the cube looks almost solved, but nevertheless it's not difficult to solve it. Do you like to solve such puzzles? If your answer is yes, then you definitely need to expand your collection at thecubicle.com. This is my favorite online puzzle store where you can find each of these puzzles. I often find new awesome puzzles for my videos there, because the new puzzles appear on this website almost every day. The Cubicle team provides great service and will deliver your cubes really fast no matter how far you are. If you want to solve some new complex things or make your friends and family a creative gift, the link to the site is in the description. Keep an eye on some tasty sales and discounts and take part in giveaways. Don't forget to use my special promo code CUBASTIC to get a discount on your order. And now is the time for the star of our video, this one and a half cube. I still haven't started solving this cube because I'm a little scared. I think this cube is more complicated than it looks. Luckily, I won't lose the shape of a cube here, like with uh, this one, where you can destroy the shape of a parallelepiped with one move. And that's all. Here, if I turn this way, 
I can't turn it anymore. That's good, but it could be a downside at the same time, because uh, we are limited in motions here. Let's try to look at it and uh, see how it works. Basically, there are just uh, two layers and here it's turning just uh, like a flat cube. Oh, by the way, look how funny the chessboard pattern looks here. That's nice. I don't think this cube is going to be easy to solve, even though I know how to solve a regular Rubik's Cube. And now it's time to solve this cube. I'm doing it for the first time in my life. Wish me luck. S start. I'll start with the cross. Uh, this is what it should look like here. Red uh, is in front of orange. So look, put uh, red on top. By the way, we solve the cross exactly the same way, like in the method uh, for beginners. We have uh, the almost uh, solved block, and it looks like this, but how do I make this algorithm? I don't have a top edge, it's really hard, <laughs> it won't work here. Only algorithms with double motions will work here, we cannot use one movement uh, on one side and on the other, only two movements. Otherwise we will not turn it here, like this, one, two, and turn. So this method didn't work. Uh, we will try to uh, solve some blocks. Let's try to make some blocks. So this is where I'm going to put this corner, and to do that I'm going to put this corner here and this one here. Okay, this one here, uh, there's nothing here. Oh, guys. It's hard enough. Maybe this way. Whoa! Oh, we have a block. And here I put it in its place. That's good. Now I need to figure out uh, how I can combine this stripe. If I do that, I can solve it. I've got some stripes and... Uh, what? No. Wait, this is good. One face is fully solved. In a minute and 48 seconds, this is record time. Look, this is exactly the same algorithm as in a normal cube. Look, this is exactly the same situation as in a normal cube. But what do I do next? It's exactly the same, but here... We have a single movements. Well, let's try. I do the same thing, but with double movements. Will it work or not? No, it doesn't work. I only destroyed it all. I sold? No, man. Again, something's wrong. And we can't have that situation. It's impossible. We'll have to come up with some of our own algorithms. Now I've turned it randomly. And I've got this situation again. If I don't do the same thing I did last time, I will solve it. The hardest thing is uh, to move the corners, because I can move the edges easily. This blue edge, for example, hide it, put it in another place, instead of it I put red. Edges are ready. The edges solve easily. But what to do with the corners? If I can't move the edges, maybe I should first try to put the corners in place. This one in its place, this one too, these two need to be changed. Our editor told me that uh, this cube has its own name. It's officially called a domino cube. But I'll probably prefer one of your options, which I'll read in the comments. What kind of algorithms are there, consisting only of double rotations of the right and left side? Only double movements. Hmm, I intuitively... Oh, I accidentally stopped the timer. Let's say 8 minutes have passed. I want to intuitively make a 3x3 cube algorithm, because if I do it here, the cube is solving. Here I can do it. This is the basic algorithm that solves almost all situations. At least uh, it can be used this way. One, two, three, four. If you repeat this move six times, one, two, three, four, five, six. The cube is solved. I want to come up with the same algorithm to solve this cube. It has to exist. But there are only double movements. Let's do it. So, this way, this way, right here. What changed? Something changed. Look, the top layer already looks different. We're going to try this layer. What's going to change? We've got this face fully solved and we're doing this algorithm. Okay, okay, what's changing? Oh, these two switch places. These two. 
Now I have to find a way to change the corners. If I find this way, then I will definitely solve this cube. Let's try this thing. R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. And what if we turn the top layer not twice, but once? We can rotate the top layer one time. Well, exactly, there is also a bottom layer. That's it. This one, this one and this one. Did something change? Something is going to happen here. Oh, that's how it's coming out now. That's interesting. At least something is going on. However, I keep scrambling it more and more. What will happen if I first solve the bottom layer incorrectly? And then uh, the top layer incorrectly too? I went back to what I had in the beginning. I'm going to try to come up with an algorithm based on the layers I've already solved. I know an algorithm that changed two of these edges. By the way, I know two of these algorithms. Uh, one, two, three. We changed two edges. Oh, stop, no, this algorithm changed these two details and these two. And this one changed only two edges on the top without touching the bottom. Oh, it turns out we can change the position of the edges as we want. Yep. Okay, bingo. Okay, edges, but how do you change two adjacent details? You can change these edges by doing a set move. Like this, here and here. Now these edges are in front of each other. And then when we do this algorithm, we need to get it all back. Now we're going to put this layer back and see what's changed. We've changed the corners, sorry, the edges, that's it, the edges are done. I've dealt with them, I've dealt with edges. How to control the corners? Here, use the bottom side, double motion, right here. Back, double motion, back, double motion, back. What happened? So... Whoa, that's it! Okay, we changed the corners, but they changed on the wrong side. Now I have to do J perm on each side. On the top of this, swap this and this. I made some algorithm and it works. Should I try it again? But it's not clear from what position. Let's try from here. This way, this way and this way. Hmm, yeah, look. It looks good. Okay, I swap uh, these ones and the block remained... Uh, Salt. It looks good. We have a salt block. Now it has to go back to how it was. Or what? Well, like this. Hmm. Well, we have to understand only what is changing. Let's look at it. Here we have the white side fully salt. Let's do it this way. Uh, one, two, or like this, like this. Okay, we've changed them. Now we're going back the other way. Like this. What's changing? Ah! The corners have changed. We're not touching any edges, but we're reversing three corners. That's the same thing if I did an A perm on the cube. Let's try again. One, two, three, four. Then we move it from here in the other direction. One, two. Yeah. What? Pfft, I didn't expect this. Wait. But I like it, because I already know how to switch. Ha! <laughs> this stage was very simple. Okay, what I need to do to run this algorithm correctly? I need to put the edges in their place. Here we have edges, trying to put them in their places. Maybe... Damn! That was sneaky, by the way! I spent a lot more time on this cube than I planned, because it is very complicated. At least I've solved one layer well, so I have a chance to solve it today. Guys, in one of the next videos I will try to pull the cross out of a cubic labyrinth. It's gonna be something really unusual, so subscribe and turn on all notifications not to miss out. Anyway, I see logic in my actions, I see logic in the way I move, but I don't really understand what this algorithm actually does. Let's be sure, are these edges or corners? Now all the edges are in one place, this is a perfect example.
Now if they move, we're going to see this, so we're doing this algorithm. The edges stayed in place and all the corners moved, or not all of them. I need to make sure that this doesn't change. Let's try again. So here... Maybe... Maybe... Did we save this block? Yes. Now in reverse order, swap it. Yes! It works! I mean, if we do this algorithm one more time, we change the three corners again. Here we go. On this one, this one and this one. We still have the block and it all works here. <laughs> yes! I got this! Man! You look so, so simple. But why are you so difficult to solve? Jared, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Guys, you definitely have to hit the like right now. Damn it, if you think that a 3x3 cube is hard to solve, ha! Huh, it is not. It's nothing, I assure you, this cube is really hard, although it looks simple, and I was able to solve it in. Mm, count it yourself. Don't remember? Well, you saw it, you can add 8 minutes to it and write in the comments how much time it took me. Mmm, it's been a long time, a long time since I've been so discouraged. The simplest cube with which something is wrong turned out to be incredibly difficult. Guys, I think this video came out decent, last thing I want to do is to thank you for watching and beg you subscribe to the channel, watch my other videos, that was Cubastic. Bye everyone and have a good time! Bye. By the way, these are my other videos, so you can check them out.